We drove about 125 miles and we arrived at the Monta Vista RV Park in Lee Vining, California. Yeah, it's just across the road from Mono Lake and it's a it seems like we're the only people camped here so far pretty much <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's really uh quite nice here i think we're at what almost seven thousand feet seven feet yeah so. we, we it was a nice drive um up uh there's a about a what about three thousand foot elevation gain <laughs> yeah from um, lone pine to to lee vining yeah essentially but we had to go over a couple uh 8,000 foot uh, and some change passes <laughs> and as you say the first one was probably much more of a pull. Yeah, yeah, it was you're pulling about 3,000 feet in the space of about eight minutes or so so you're, you're out pulling of Bishop. pretty good out of Bishop and fortunately the the truck did great and we had no problems and arrived safely here. Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna check out uh, the Lee Vining area. We also have a little bit of video editing to do today. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll hang around here for a couple days and see what lies ahead. It's a gorgeous day in Lee Vining. We just got up a little while ago and took, took some showers. <laughs> took a coin operated shower. They give you a token here for five minutes of hot water, <laughs> which, uh, you know, it, it's enough. It worked out, but you, you couldn't actually buy extra tokens if you wanted to take a really long hot shower. But <laughs> Or just use your rig. Yeah. yeah. So I guess we're going to go ahead and head over to the Mono Lake Visitor Center. Yeah, there's two of them. So we're going to head to one of them. <laughs> So we're going to start off here at the Mono Basin Visitor Center. Thought I had read that there was two visitor centers here in the area, but I guess that's just this one. <laughs> yeah, this one will do. We're going to go in and get our bearings for the day. And check out this big, huge piece of obsidian. Yeah. Can you believe that? That is so huge. It's uh, kind of like pumice. It's volcanic glass. It's amazing. I just love these big 3D maps like this. So amazing. Mono Lake water is different from that of most other California lakes. Here's what you would have to add to the water from Lake Tahoe to make mono's water. To a quart of water, add two and a half tablespoons of table salt, one and a half tablespoons of baking soda, two tablespoons of Epsom salt, a pinch of borax, and a pinch of detergent. Look at this. Lake Tahoe, <laughs> Pacific Ocean, mono lake. So the Pacific salt. Ocean has 3.5%, <laughs> Mono Lake has 10% salt, yeah. wow. Way more salt. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Huh. They went out of their way with this visitor center. It's really nice. And we actually found the sticker too. So we got our sticker and the stamp for our book. How's that look? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Walking down to the north end of Mono Lake. Coming. Picked a gorgeous day to come down here, that's for sure. Great to be out of the high winds, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> what a difference it makes. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there's just so many beautiful things to see along Highway 395. It's just such a wonderful ride. 
So this is Mono Lake. It's one of the oldest lakes in North America and it has several streams and springs that feed into it but it has no outlet. So because of that with the evaporation that occurs it has become very salty. In fact its salt concentration is over twice that of the ocean and the alkalinity then makes it uninhabitable for fish but it is one of the most productive lakes supporting trillions of brine shrimp, alkali flies, and migratory birds. All right, so you got the map. So we're right, right there? Yeah. All right, and where are we going? All right, so they say going down to the South Tufa is an awesome place to see. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right, let's go check that out. So down here at South Tufa of Mono Lake, it is a fee area. The Forest Service uh, requires that you have a valid recreation pass here. They have a booth over here that says that recreation passes are sold here, but it appears to be closed. So they do have payment envelopes here that you can use. This may look like a dry spot, but water moves beneath your feet. Surface water sinks through this porous soil until it hits a hard rock layer, then it runs downhill toward the lake. A spring forms wherever this groundwater emerges. What's that? This is interesting. Petrified springs, how water makes rock. When calcium rich springs flow up through the lake bottom, the calcium bonds to carbonates in the lake water. Together they form calcium carbonate, a type of limestone. This solid material builds up on itself, gradually forming a tufa tower. When the lake levels drop, the exposed tufa stops growing. Uh, Isn't that that's cool? Really cool. Look at that view. Look at this view over here. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Really amazing. Here's some of the tall, thinner tufas. really enjoyed it out here. I didn't think it was going to be quite this, uh, I don't know, uh, neat, yeah. interesting. <laughs> it's definitely photographic. Yeah, very photogenic. cool. Um, definitely worth the five miles off the 395 to come and check this out for sure. Yeah, I definitely would come back sometime. I'd like to come like in the early morning or late evening, do some photography around here. Definitely an amazing place. Right off of 395. What a what a highway. Yeah. <laughs> well, where do you want to go now? Uh, I think we'll go check out June Lake area. All right, let's go do the June Lake Loop. We made it to June Lake, and it's. Like we've been saying, just absolutely beautiful. I don't know what else to say. It's yeah. just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think of this? They call this the Switzerland of California, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I love these trees. They're amazing. And the water's just so pretty looking. Like the snow-capped mountains. What more could you want? Look at that. It's just stunning. Well, we better hit the 
hit the road. Road and go check out some more stuff, huh? Yep. Let's go. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too. All right. In June Lake. Is that the name of this town? Yeah. June Lake. Oh, there's a place to eat. Yeah. June Lake Brewery. Want to try that? Sure. <laughs> I guess this place doesn't have food, it only has beer, but that works for me, so we're going to have a beer and then go look for food. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Shucks. Oh, pennies. We dropped a lot of pennies. <laughs> and here's the beers that they have here. I like when they put the IBUs up. Go from what, 11 IBU all the way to 100 plus. Yeah, thank you guys. Here looks good. Right by the 395 sign. How about that? <laughs> Give these beers a try. Which one's that? It? This is the rock and dirt, the chocolatey one. Is it good? Yeah, it's not bad. You can actually taste a little chocolate. Which one's that? Oh yeah, cat. That's the one I tried too. I'll just keep that out here. And then this is our rock and dirt one. Yeah. And that's El Jefe. El Jefe. Has that got like grapefruit tones to it or something? Try this. Hold on, you turn the camera around. I for sure can like this. <laughs> I don't know. This, this is more your thing. <laughs> yeah. Right? And it's not really my thing. I like low IBUs and, and uh, just good beer flavor. I'm not big on the El Jefe. The cat's pretty good. Yeah. I don't like all those extra flavors in my beer and stuff. I mean, some tones of it are alright, but. You like yeah. that one? Yeah. yeah it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Burp. Well, we had our beer, but we didn't get our food, so we're yeah. going to walk on up the road here a little ways and see if we can find a place to eat. Let's go check out the Tiger Great Food and Spirits. Hopefully there's something good to eat in here. The Tiger Bar, established in 1932, was a popular watering hole. As the story goes, like most watering holes in Mono County, the Tiger had slot machines and poker tables. One day, the revenuers called and said they were coming to town to stop the gambling. All slot machines were gathered up and thrown into June Lake, never to be seen again. Many divers have gone looking, but have always come up empty-handed. June Lake will hide the secret forever. We got the Philly. What'd you get? Uh, grilled chicken. And Tiger oh. burger. Tiger burger. Bon appetit. Burp. Perfect. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Have a good one. Well, we're in the ghost town of Bodie. It's about 13 miles off of California Highway 395. And the last three miles of that were quite interesting. Yes, dirt road, very bumpy. Washboard. Yes, very, very challenging to get here. It was not a good ride. Yeah, we're gonna take a little look around here. It's uh, about, what, 8,100 feet and some change, somewhere yeah. in there. We're up here a little ways, so we're going to take our time, meander around here. We've still got a little bit of daylight. It looks like a, a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs>
Bodie. Gold was discovered here in 1859 by W.S. Bodie, after whom the town was named. Once the most thriving metropolis of the Mono country, Bodie's mines produced gold valued at more than a hundred million dollars. Tough as nails, the bad man from Bodie still carries his guns and Bowie knife down through the pages of Western history. What do you got there? This is the Bodie State Historic Park. Has a map of the town and all the facts you need to know. Well, I wish we'd have got here a lot earlier. There's yeah. a lot to <laughs> explore, to but no, well, we'll get a little sampling of it anyway. Wow. Now in church, steep steps here. Wow. Uh, People throw money in there. Oh, that's interesting. Left the organ and everything. Yeah, like you were saying, they just, uh, when the gold ran out, so did they. <laughs> yeah. So everybody just took off and abandoned the place. All right, this is number five, which is... Miller House. Tom Miller, born in Canada, worked as a teamster for the Bodie Railroad and Lumber Company at Mono Mills near Mono Lake. Hmm. Apparently this was his house where he lived with his wife and two children. Let's go have a look. Oh, look at these floorboards. Squeaky. Yeah. So they just left all the furniture and everything and the state has just left it in a state of arrested decay, <laughs> what they call it. Oh yeah, everything's just the lost in time. Table and everything. There's a little kids chair. Yeah. There's the Check stove over there. Check out the bathtub. Yep, there's the bathtub. <laughs> wow. A wash basin. Looks like some kind of radio or something over there. I don't know what that is. Huh. Really something, huh? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, look at this. You can see all the old bottles through the glass panes here. Probably can't go in this one, I would imagine. Nope. James Stewart Kane House. The what? James Stewart Kane House. Hmm. He always believed that Bodie's mines would prosper again. Well, doesn't look like it unless you <laughs> count all the money the state's getting for the yeah. admission here. And yeah. <laughs> we got Shell gasoline over here. Number 14, it's a lot of glare on it. What yeah, is this? This is the Boone Store and Warehouse, one of several general stores in town, owned by Harvey Boone, a distant cousin of Daniel Boone. Wow. This is number 20, what's that? This is the schoolhouse. It became the school after the first school was allegedly burned down by an early day juvenile delinquent. Had its highest enrollment in 1879 of 615 students and closed in 1942. Look at all the books and lunch pails and crazy everything that's left here. It's hard to see with the reflections. This is the barber shop. Let's see if we can stay inside at all. Very little bit. This is supposed to be a Sam casino. Bar. This is the bar? Yeah. Which Opened one? in 1937 by Sam Leon after losing his hotel in the 1932 fire. Slot machine, a roulette table, and 
see the bar way back in there. Very difficult to see through this glass. This used to be the post office. See the slots where they used to put all the mail. Old sewing machine in there and a bird cage. Anything else? There's a copy of the Saturday Evening Post on the table. Oh wow. <laughs> it's so hard to see through these windows. Well, that wraps up this leg of our journey. We hope you enjoyed Mono Lake and the June Lake area and the Bodie Ghost Town. Yeah, this ghost town is really something. We had an incredible day. Just a lot of fun. So much to see in this area. So stick around. <laughs> More <Yep>. to come. <laughs>So it's cool that we went to this area too, down here at the South Tufa, and, and went to the, the North Park because it's like a, a two for one deal. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, now I have something stuck in my Tufa? <laughs> oh, we can go to Bakersfield, 166 miles, or some of these other places, Bodie Hills, 29 miles north, or wait, here's a brewery, 176 yards. Getting grody and body.